Hello, and welcome back to New Morelandia, the greatest of all towns. Well, I say the greatest of all towns. I mean, I may or may not have omitted the fact that, like, seven people died of starvation, and one of our great noblemen was killed by a skeleton in the previous episode. Okay, all of society has started to collapse. That's just the situation at this point. It's kind of unfortunate, but, you know, we gotta work with what we got, what we have to work with. It's... Not the best, but it's what we have. So, I don't know. I'm thinking we need to cut down on a bit of um, workmen overall. We don't actually need a ton of carpenters and stone cutters. Because basically at this point we don't have much of a use for the planks. And the uh, smooth stone, we really need to get some builders up. Some filthy peasant builders to actually finish this wall so we can be well defended. Um, in order to do that, I think we don't need three Fletchers. We don't... I mean, I want to keep the smelter. It's just too important. I mean, smelters are actually useful. That's kind of a thing. We'll cut down the number of farmers. And it looks like we might actually have a half-decent quantity of people now. I think we've got the work all figured out after the terrible bouts of starvation that basically destroyed our workforce. Which was unfortunate, I'll level with you, but you know, things had to be done. And we'll set them on the um, actual construction of this wall so that, you know, tomorrow night skeletons don't come in from both sides and kill yet another duke in our town. Ugh, I think our dukes are still alive. Who were the other dukes? Can't even remember. Um, they, they were important people regardless. If I saw them, I'd know them. I think it was, Ma was it Westerman? Maybe. It could have been the Westermans. Oh, Shea. Jennifer Shea. No, I think the Sheas are the, um, other, um, uh, nobility in this place. Uh, Sonia Ford, this person right here, has just died. Let's turn her body into essence that can be used to create golems. We could just replace the entire, um, population of our town with golems. I mean, technically, golems aren't really a good substitute for humans. Because golems don't, you know, do a ton of work that humans do. Like, building things, or making food, or, you know, generally progressing society in any way. Um, golems are pretty useless. Ooh, check this out. An axe. It's not a battle axe, but it's an axe, and that's nice. And a chest plate. Whoever gets that chest plate is going to be ostracized from the town. Just saying. I mean, I feel like we need to warn them at this point. Because it is... Oh, my word. We're being encroached on all sides by slimes. Quickly, move them out of the area. You will not be stopping our construction today, slimes. Man, there's so many slimes out here. They all just want to get right up into our town. And just ruin all of the progress that we've been working so hard to create. Ugh. And not to mention the slimes, but, you know, the general weather also wants to ruin all of our progress. Mostly by, you know, preventing crops from growing. Oh, there's Walter Ford. Walter Ford is now dead. It is quite a shame that Walter Ford died. I, um, I really feel for him, but such a thing had to occur because I guess he was a terrible person and, um... I'd say it was justice. It was justice for what Walter Ford did at some point, which w may or may not have been picking up some form of zombie chest plate and putting it on his body, which is really a capital offense at this point, even though it's such a common thing to be done. Um, it's just kind of what had to happen. Oh, builders, are you going to get to work finishing up this uh, wall over here? It's kind of important that you get that done. I don't even know what our builders are doing right now. It doesn't look like anyone's out there trying to actually finish this. This is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. This is not a good situation. I mean, I haven't really had situations where there's like widespread um, starvation in this game, at least for a while. Because if you start in a place that actually has a decent amount of um, like food just sitting on the ground, you can actually pretty much avoid all forms of um, starvation. But th this site and this map in general had a very little quantity of food, which is unfortunate. 
It's led to the death of numerous people. I'm pretty sure this is just a uh, momentary setback for an otherwise beautiful society. But you never know. It's questionable. We'll have to see. Slimes! Get the heck out of my town! Who do all these slimes think they are? Trying to come into my town. We have to use so much of our god powers just to, like, pick slimes up and stop them from actually coming towards us. It's the worst. Oh, in the very least, progress continues slightly, I mean. It's not a lot of progress. Maybe this town expansion, um, in hindsight, was a bad idea overall. Oh, Amari! No! The Gestapo! What's gonna happen if all the Amaris die? There won't be a Gestapo anymore. And without a Gestapo, how will we be able to maintain any form of society within our town? The Gestapo is a key part of any society in any world. If you have a society and you don't have the Gestapo, you're doomed to fail from the beginning. Ugh, oh, this is not good. It's just a continually unfortunate situation. So let's see what we can get here. Can we set up the remainder of this wall? We're gonna need to set that up and then we can just fill that last little bit in once we've got this corner. Cause as soon as we close off these two, this corner won't be able to be built, which is really annoying. I mean, it's not necessary to build the corner, but at the same time, I feel like if we don't have the corner, it's not quite, it's not quite a full wall without that little corner section. Oh, hey dude. Fire Elemental trying to come at us. Get wrecked, kid! You think you can come into our town through the front entrance and then kill all of our people? Not so much. Not so much. I don't appreciate that. Ugh. Oh, so many slimes everywhere. Look, okay, here's how it goes. We have been turned from basically the mayor of the town into the um, Slime Wrangler 101, which is unfortunate. Slime Wrangler 101? That's a class. Ugh, we've been turned into a class. That's disgusting. Anyway, we are now officially the Slime Wranglers of the town. Our exclusive job is to make certain that um, all slimes everywhere are prevented from actually getting into the town. It's not the most glamorous job. It's also really, when you get down to it, not the most useful job, but it does, it has its purposes, so you gotta do what you gotta do. Man, have we spent this entire day trying to finish this wall? Oh, that's a lot of time spent on just a bunch of wood walls. I mean, maybe we should tear down a few of these older walls and use the resources from those to actually speed this up a bit. I didn't think that would be necessary because I thought the builders would work a bit faster. But apparently, filthy peasant builders want nothing to do with actually working with any legitimate speed. I'm talking about you, Schneider, you disgusting peasants. Ugh, it's terrible. It's just the worst. Anyway, let's see what we got going. They're tearing down the walls right now, which should speed up the entire construction. Hopefully we can get this wall done before tonight, but I mean, it's already halfway through evening and we have a lot of walls to finish up, which is quite unfortunate. Okay. Um, is there anything else we need to be working on? I mean, it's kind of hard to do more than one job at the same time in this game because, I mean, we've only got a limited quantity of builders and if we send the builders off to like, I don't know, build what? A tool smithy? Ha, huh, that's never gonna happen. Building a tool smithy while at the same time building the wall, it just slows down both of them. And while that's fine if it's like tool smithies and farms and things, it's not so fine if we absolutely need it for, like, surviving the night. It's kind of important. Oh, in the very least, progress continues. How is the uh, terrible otherworldly town going? I'll admit, said terrible otherworldly town is actually becoming quite a significant structure here. There's a lot of evil creatures just roaming the wilderness out here. I mean, I guess it's not wilderness now that they built all these buildings here. Man, they just keep building more of them. Oh, our town is in great risk of absolute destruction. It's quite unfortunate. And a skeleton has managed to slip his way into the defenses. Hey, you, small slime, out, go. Get out of here. 
We need to finish this wall. It's so important. It's the key to the continuation of our civilization. Ugh. We're gonna have to use a lot of god powers to get through tonight. I can feel it. I mean, with the with the massive size of this town, basically everything that comes out of this town is gonna be trying to come up straight through this little hole here. And I hate to be that guy, but not even Bill is capable of actually holding off all of those enemies. We're gonna have to banish them off into the distance. Ugh. Who are you two? Schneider? Westerman? Hey, what's the Duke of Moreland? Here's a question. Was the Duke of Moreland actually, um, like, married to anyone? Is there still a Moreland in the town? Hey, you. Out. Go. I don't know if there is another Moreland. I don't think so. I think Joseph M Moreland may have been the only Moreland in town, and now there really isn't even a Duchess of Moreland here. Oh, that is unfortunate. It is very sad. I mean, that's like the basic social structure of our town completely destroyed. Oh, I mean, we're going to have to completely recreate our constitution at this point. It's just too much to um not have a Duke of Moreland to basically like guide our civilization unto its success. Oh, my word. Are they booking it right now? Oh, no. They're all heading into our town. Here, here's how it goes. Banish. All of you, be gone! Leave, do not come back. Basically, what Banish does is it sends enemies to a random point on the map. But once it sends them to that random point, it also confuses them so they forget where they were trying to go to begin with. Which is pretty good, I gotta say. Is there an attack in the front that's not being dealt with? Nah. Actually, we're kind of holding out okay. I mean, it's early in the night, and no giant hordes of enemies have actually showed up at all yet. But I think we'll be okay overall. We got this under control. Oh, look, a ration. Ooh. Have a ration. Someone who's, like, dying of hunger right now, pick up that ration and try to eat. Who are you? Norma Ford, what were you doing out there? Don't leave the confines of the town. We can't assure your survival if you try to run out of town. That's ridiculous. You guys, you're not showing up. Not happening. You are not coming to our town. You will be banished off to random points in the map and at some point come to try to kill us later. But I don't care if you try to kill us later so long as you aren't trying to kill us right now when we are severely weakened. Man, I love these bow turrets. They're like the best. They do so much work. That's why we really need to close this off so all of the enemy attacks come through bow turrets. Uh, how are the builders doing? Are you guys going to get to work at any point? I mean, there's a lot of construction that needs to be done. It kind of looks like there's a bunch of people just talking. Guys, there's more to be done than talking. Please, get to work. We don't have forever. Uh, I mean, at least the town's not being destroyed by terrible, vicious evil creatures. We seem to have at least that situation under control for now. For now. is very much a for now. Um, there, there will be a time in which we do not have it under control. It will be very bad, but at this current point, nobody's dying. The Duke of Moreland, he had to sacrifice himself for the greater good. We're just gonna put it that way so he sounds really epic. Um, he sacrificed himself for the greater good because, of course, um, Without his sacrifice, the town would not have been rallied towards the continued um, creation of the Great Wall that will um, actually defend our town at some point. Oh, it, it's a sad time. It's a sad time. I mean, really all we need is a single um, construction point on each of these walls to make them solid and the enemies can't get through them. It's going to take forever. How you guys doing, Bill? That seems to be a level 5 zombie you're fighting right there. Nope, that's a dead level 5 zombie. Yeah, that's still a level 5 zombie. 720 health. Unfortunately, he's being mobbed by a bunch of, of bills, and he's not going to last very long. I mean, it's not unfortunate for us. It's unfortunate for him. For that zombie, it's very unfortunate. For us, it's like the best situation that could happen out there. Oh, it is an absolute battlefield. Luckily, the Bills have no sense of fear. 
and uh, Leviticus and um, Plato. Yeah, one of our wood golems is named Plato. Leviticus and Plato also have no actual fear receptors, so they are, of course, completely fine with the entire situation of, like, a battlefield strewn with enemy, enemy corpses. They have no problem. Ah, builders! I know it's the middle of the night and you're supposed to be, like, sleeping or something, but could you please... Barney Houghton? I didn't even know who you are! Chances are it was probably your fault. I mean, yeah... I'm not actually gonna argue against that one. The, the terrible starvation may well have been in small and large parts our fault. Which is not the best, but, you know, you gotta at least admit to the uh, failures of your town and your rule of your town when necessary. Oh my word, that's a bunch of headless. I mean, I say it's a bunch of headless, but the headless are also completely pathetic. Oh my word, autumn has started! The crops shall grow! We need to set people to um, actually farming now instead of building so that we can get some food and stop the starvation. Anyway, oh my word, no! No giant attacks will destroy our town today. Everyone, leave. The battle's over. You know why? Because I said so. Anyway, for now, that will bring us to the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. Next time, we should be able to finish the Great Wall along here. And it being autumn, we will actually begin harvesting food and no longer have starving people. So, until then, thanks for watching, and of course, enjoy the rest of your day.